Hey friends, it's Susan from Legs Like Mine. So today I want to talk a little bit about fatigue. Fatigue is definitely one of the symptoms that goes hand in hand with lipedema, but we rarely hear anybody talking about how we would combat fatigue. So um, one of the things I've heard a lot is, you know, hey, if you eat something that's high in carbs, if you take a 15 minute walk, it will help you process those carbs quicker and then maybe you won't get that sort of dip in the um, in the blood sugar causing fatigue later on, which is a great idea. A walk is a great idea anytime. But I actually did some research to see if there were any studies already completed that talk about like what causes fatigue in women with lipedema. And it turns out there's a research study and I will reference it in the show notes below <clears throat> that um, shows that women who have fatigue actually have been found to have low doses of omega-3 fatty acids and there's a big long word for it but um so that let's just say omega-3 fatty acids right <laughs> anyway i'm actually gonna look over here on my computer and i'm gonna read to you a few things that um, are recommended to get more omega-3s in your diet and the reason i am sharing this with you is because i've never heard anybody tell us this before that there's a relationship between omega-3s and being so fatigued with lipedema and i'm just a tired girl i don't know about you all but <laughs> I sleep a lot more than I want to these days, and I don't know if it's because I'm nearing 50 or if it's because of the lipedema, but hey, if all I have to do is add a little bit of food to my diet instead of take myself take food out of my diet, I'm all in. So here's a list of some things you can add. Fatty fish, uh, salmon, mackerel, sardines, trout, and tuna. Um, some algal oil, which comes from algae, and it is a supplement. Fish oil supplements, you can get those. Shellfish, like oysters and mussels, contain this um, omega-3 fatty acid. Chia seeds and flax seeds, I've added these to smoothies in the past, and they really just add a tiny bit of crunch. And if you let them soak overnight, a little bit of sliminess to your diet, but that's a really easy one to incorporate into your diet. Um, hemp seeds and hemp seed oil, fortified foods like milk, yogurt, and eggs, have omega-3 fatty acids added to them so you can check the product label and see if there's something that you can just you know pick a different yogurt or whatever leafy green vegetables like spinach kale brussels sprouts um they support the omega-3 metabolizing in your system and then so if you add that to your diet it can help you like retain that omega-3 in your system walnuts um can contribute to your omega-3 intake so, hey, I like walnuts. <laughs> That's my, bingo, you just heard me go, bingo. That's it. Um, Grass-fed meat and dairy products. So, animals that are fed diets that are rich in omega-3s also have more omega-3s in their proteins. So, anyway, um, I thought that would be helpful, and I'm willing to try it. I think I'll probably go back to adding some chia seeds into my smoothies and adding, you know, popping a few walnuts in every day to see if that will help with my fatigue levels. The good news is it's cheap. I don't have to order anything from the internet. I just go to the grocery store with my regular time and relatively harmless. I'm not allergic to walnuts. I don't hate walnuts. Um, and chia seeds, I've already had those in my diet before and I kind of enjoyed them. So um, let me know if you're going to try any of these tactics. I actually am putting this whole list into my blog on legslikemine.com if you want to read the list slower. And I'll put a link to the study that shows the me uh, metabolic markers of fatigue as well in case you're um, like me and you want to read the research yourself. So anyway, I hope that helps you and I hope it helps me so that I can stay awake longer and get some stuff done. All right, take care. Bye, everybody.